Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In the last episode we've been walking around our ship and got a lot of messages from people who want to meet us on the Citadel, so let's do that. It's a little weird that there's so much war going on in this game, but you spend so much time flying around, talking with people and stuff. I mean, I could just choose not to. I mean, don't get me wrong, but most of this dialogue that I'm doing is optional, to some extent. But I'm gonna be doing it regardless, because we know those people, we like most of those people, so why wouldn't, why wouldn't I go and visit them to talk to them? But it may seem a little weird. We are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Yeah, I would like to get to the hospital. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. No, you don't understand. This isn't for... According to the council, these Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular Medigel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't Go another side quest. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Thane? <clears throat> Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic and intensive care. I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. Thanks. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Yeah, but rest from war and conflict in a time where basically everything is about to be destroyed. I don't know, Thane. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end. To a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Oh, it was sure nice seeing you again, Thane. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. 
He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them. What's going on here? Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. Yeah, this is something that we're gonna see more often now, which is arguments between two citadel citizens that we can decide one way or the other. I'm also gonna buy this whiskey here now to have a small gift for for Caden. So let's go to him. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for our use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as you need. All right. Let's check if there's any talk going on in this room. Apparently not. Here. Nope. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Couldn't they give him some clothing? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? That was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell that... I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're going to be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listen, too. We went through Asher's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? Sure. We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Right, that didn't go too bad. Lee? Not sure. Yes, but clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I know the Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. All right. More stuff that we can pick up. Yay! We were 
were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. And the enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of the big ones. And we were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. Yeah, what happened at Tiptree with this... With this soldier? That's an interesting question. Let's go to the embassies to talk with Yundum Bao from the Spectres. He calls it STNR, which I haven't heard before. I mean, in the other games would always Spectres and stuff, but not STNR. I can't take your word on fighting continues. But those assumptions merely leave my son stranded in enemy territory. But Lao may still be alive. Okay, someone missing his son apparently. We already had that side mission from over there. Hello? Commander Shepard, John Dumbao, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. Oh. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? I paid off a weapons dealer, Donovan Hawk. Unpleasant man, but the data was worth it. Well, that sounds very similar to the rival DSC, so... I'd maybe like to help you. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Right. So I have to go to the Spectre office now and enable our Omni to track these uh, these Hanar activities. Hanar Embassy Tracking. Spectre level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data, transit records and personal communications for all employees in the Hanar Embassy. To avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, embassy files must be accessed on site. Nav points of consoles or access points with relevant information will be tagged on the Spectre's Omni tool. Enable. Military pardons for Normandy engineers. Engineers Gabriel Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to fight the Collectors and Reapers and had no other connection to the terrorist organization. Spectre authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reinstate them aboard the Normandy. Yes! Yes! Come pr I want to press that button again! Damn it. On it. Any idea what you're hoping to find? Suspicious transfers. Data usage outside the normal range for ambassadorial staff. So, we have no idea. Hopefully we'll know it when we see it, Commander. Alright. It should be nice to see Ken and um, Gabby back on the Normandy. Bow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. And Balone has a mistress? An Asari poet. To be honest, I think he was pressured into it to improve relations with Thessia. His government approves of him having an affair with an Asari poet? No, they'd fire him if it became public. They're a paradoxical culture. Tell me about it. Welcome. All right. I think we have to follow up this in the holding area of the 
docks, I'm not sure though. Now arriving at docking bay east. Bao, Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. Good idea. There shouldn't be many new arrivals. They're a mildly xenophobic species. Xenophobic? I could use a more polite term if you prefer. Private? Reclusive? <laughs> Just a bit more blunt than I expected. I did say mildly. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends. Yeah, this is difficult. I'd like to help those refugees, of course, but if she says we don't have any capacity, I mean, we're on a space station. There's a finite amount of people that, that can be here at any time, so I'm gonna be supporting the dock officer. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. <sighs> this sucks. Normally I would be all for, yay refugees, come here, but we're on a space station, so there's a limit. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. We can hope. If a Hanar group is opposing war with the Reapers, my suspicions were correct. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Garrus? Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Yeah. What's that? Was this is a Shepard VI. You are looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. You have a copy of a Shepard VI. Oh yeah, the one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? <laughs> My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. 7%? That much? I 
might come pre-installed with an SSV Normandy flight sim. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? <laughs> That's a good question. <sighs> oh well. Well, I guess the time is already up, so in the next episode we'll continue to go around the Citadel. I suppose we're gonna stay here for at least one more episode, so bear with me and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.